early March 2019, the weather in Wisconsin was not going very well. Mm. I don't think so. So we followed the wisdom of Griffin McElroy, and we packed our bags and got out of there. After a short layover in Chicago, we continued our 19-hour journey across the Pacific, through Japan, and finally to the Philippines. Manila! The airport definitely gives you that first rush of a big city. From there we caught a grab, which is basically Southeast Asia's Uber, to our first destination. The Gramercy Residences in Makati. Oh my goodness! I wanted to go here because I saw Craig and Amy from Kicking It walking through the pool area. I said wherever that is, that's where I'm gonna be. Yeah, you did a really good job finding this place on Airbnb. Thank you. <laughs> and the view was oh, first rate. Check it out. Then in the morning, we had to get our first bit of food, which Bethany chose Jollibee. And I ate all kinds of Jollibee. And then there was the pool. Much floating was enjoyed. Although it's five feet tall universally, and I'm five foot two, that presented some logistical issues for me, but we figured it out. <laughs> Having a tall husband slash floating pool boy make a big difference. Thanks. <laughs> no, 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 no. Thank you. From there, uh, we went down to the port area to do the seaside dampa for dinner. The dampa was incredible because of our wonderful, wonderful friends, Leo and Veronica. You get to go and visit these vendors where they have all this food that they've caught that day and you get to choose what you want and then they take it across the street to the restaurant of your choice and prepare it. Uh, up front can be rather intimidating for a first time jumping into it. Yeah, and Leo brokered it all for us, which was so, so helpful. And then after dinner, we uh, headed over to Benando for drinks with Leo and Veronica. Yay. And I was able to get a little video here of the gates going into the oldest Chinatown in the world, yes. which is pretty cool. Um, we didn't get to really get out and see much of um, this part of town, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, it was totally okay. It leaves something for later. <laughs> and then we got to come back to ah, our little slice of paradise in the sky. We're going to have many clips of and <laughs> from I'm gonna, this view. I'm going to freak out with joy at every single one of them, so just deal with it <laughs> because I loved it. I was so freaking happy. It was warm and comfortable and just luxurious and lovely. Day two. We crossed from Makati over to Ortega Center because that's where my co-workers are. And this trip was taken close to rush hour, I'd say, over there. But um, because of that, we had to take a bunch of windy turns through town to avoid the major highways. Yeah, and because of that, I mean, we got to see tons of stuff before ending up in uh, the office. And got to meet some of Joe's co-workers. And then after that... We had dinner at the Podium, which yes. is a mall close to where we were. With another pair of friends of ours. Yep, Ryan and Rochelle. And uh, they took us out to the Banana Leaf. Yes. Well, you had a not-so-easy-to-sleep night. It's 5 a.m. Go back to sleep, go back to sleep. My body's like, nope, time to get up! I'm like, son of a... And I'm so glad I did, because it caught the best pictures of our time in Manila. Sunrise over Manila. Yeah. With Mount Banaha in the background and uh, Laguna Lake. Bells and chickens. Yes, there was there was a rooster. Just utterly magical. And I and the light kept shifting and changing and I and every time I thought, okay, that's enough, it would shift and change. I'm like, no more. <laughs> and um, I'm so glad because it's some of the best shots I've ever been able to capture and I'm not a photographer. And that was our last night in Makati. <laughs> and luckily, Leo was able to help us get across town yes. and uh, give us a, you know, tour as we get there yeah. to give us a little bit of an idea of stuff that maybe we didn't know about at the time. Oh, and there was so much. Yeah. Lots of 
important World War II sites in history that was all around us. And he took us to this wonderful place, which was... Harborview most, Restaurant. Yes, Harborview Restaurant, which was basically right across from where we were staying. This place was wonderful and it was a you had a nice little ocean breeze which mm -hmm. was nice it dropped the temperature five to ten degrees or so and um yeah and we was what that was our first halo halo yeah uh, it's delicious and, and, and uh, said my first san miguel yes yeah. <laughs> and uh we also had the uh maize con yellow it was delicious <laughs> yeah it was kind of yeah. wonderful wonderful round of desserts and beer there it's a little way to cool off during a hot day right around the the corner between where we were staying and that restaurant was uh, a place where a lot of uh, local vendors or panhandlers and stuff would set up during the day and it's right also next to the u.s embassy and Rizal park is on the other corner on the other corner as well we were set up right across from the U.S. Embassy. And I was just a wee bit delighted with our view. Um, <laughs> it was a good view. After we were all packed into our room, then it was time to head north to Pampanga. Yay! Uh, Leo taking us out of the city and mm -hmm. getting to see more this was yeah this was the city like out. markets that just spill out onto the road and that's still manila but yeah that statue of D general Doug douglas macarthur really moved me that was lovely and i wish that my father was still alive so i could tell him about it and here we are leaving and going into the countryside which huge change within probably about like 20 minutes once we got on that highway yeah it was quick getting out of town Mostly, well, mostly flat, and then boom, volcano. You know back there? Is that the Mount Arya? That's Arya, yes. Arya. yes. <laughs> Which I just, I just think that's fascinating. Flat, 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 massive peak. And this place, oh, give me all the food. Eling Lusing Sisig is probably the most famous Sisig restaurant in the Philippines. I'm gonna eat what that guy's cooking, and it's gonna be marvelous, and I will be happy. Our stops were partially dictated by places that Anthony and Bourdain went to, but also they're good places to go to. We often forget to take pictures of ourselves, but Leo made sure we had that taken care of. Look at all that amazing food. Ah, oh, good God. Just, oh, I'd eat it all. It, everything on this table was delicious. Sisig, I'm telling you, people of Wisconsin, Sisig, you would like it. You would like it. It pairs so well with beer. I, I took a bite of this and I thought, why don't we have this in Wisconsin? Had a little food coma all the way back oh, in yeah. town. <laughs> it's oh, yeah. Quietly rode on the way back into Manila, where a wonderful thing happened. I found a random bag of my favorite manila snack, Squiddy. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. There will be more videos to come on this trip and others in the future.